and welcome back to the PBAS Reward Discovery Series. Let's quickly review our Advanced Referral System, or ARS. First, we're going to start off in the Groups tab here in the web portal. We're on that second tab on the left side, and most staff members will spend the majority of their time here. So this is a great place if you are looking to utilize that Advanced Referral System to start right here. We are going to select a specific student that needs to have that type of documentation completed. And then I'm going to come right up here to this exclamation point that says referral. And I have the option for a minor referral, which is more of a classroom managed behavior, or a major referral that is usually more of an office managed behavior. I'm going to select minor. And once I bring this up, I can see other information that has been documented on this particular student. And just like other places in our system, when we see this green button, that's going to add something new for us. So we're going to add a new minor form. And you can see as the form is pulled up for us, some of the information has already been populated for us, including the student name, their code, the date has been filled in with today's date, but you can always go back and change that. And you can fill in the time by clicking now if that applies, or you can type in the accurate time. Your name will be filled out here, a staff member. And then you can start filling out the form. So starting off with the location, where did this occur? And then what was the primary issue? So if you select that from the list, and then we also have some options in our system of secondary issues, if that is something that your school decides to do. And then what other redirections did a staff member helped that student with? So you can select that. I'm gonna go ahead and do two of those. And then what are the motivations for that student? Why did that behavior occur? Then at the bottom, we have a space for you to write in a description of the incident. An attached file can be included here if you need more information for this minor form. And then the save button can be selected for this documentation to be completed in the system. So that is a minor form. Next, let's look at a major form. That can also be done back in the groups page, but we're gonna look at a different option, which is here in the referrals tab on the left-hand side. And once I select that, I can start a referral for a student. So I'm going to type their name in. And now I have the option for a major or a minor, and I'm going to select major this time. And this gives me a place to get this major referral form started. So here's my information about a student, the date, the time, and the reason. And if I have this selected, then it will send an email to my referral admin. And I'm going to go ahead and record that just so it lets them know that this will be heading their way soon as soon as I have the referral completed. So it will not head to them until this has been completed. And so now we have the rest of the form to fill in. And so we can see that this information has already been filled in for us. And then the location now can be selected. That primary issue has been selected, but you can change that here. A secondary issue, redirections, possible motivation, description of the incident, Again, you have the option for attaching a file. You can save and leave this open right now. But once everything has been filled in, then you can easily submit that to the office and this button will turn blue. So those are the options for major and minor referrals. You can access both of those referrals in the groups tab over here on the left-hand side, in the referrals tab here on the left-hand side, and on your mobile device. So our advanced referral system is something that can be accessed in multiple places. Thank you so much for joining us today to review our advanced referral system. Come back next time to learn more about our social emotional learning from our discovery series.